Thailand on the map. Yes, his win by Williams in Berlin was less than a week ago. Last Sunday, so he's had a tremendous few days. He must be on cloud nine right now. Well, he was a bit lucky there, was uh, James Watanar. He uh, got a second kiss there, which took the cue ball back to safety. There he is. I mean, see if this goes in off. It's a very significant moment if it does, but it's going to hang in the jaws. If you go back to the days before Ding Jin Wee played, which seems an awfully long time ago, in Asia there was only one man, and that was James Watana. He was a real legend of snooker in, in Thailand. And good to see him still competing now. Courtesy of what I would call a distinguished service wild card. Absolutely. Well deserved. Well, there is that long game where it's been so good lately. I know the red was fairly close to the pocket, but it's still very nicely played. Never in. In his day, James Watanau won three world ranking titles, reached the semi final at the Crucible. Doesn't play as much these days, but still has a fine tactical head on his shoulders. Even that last shot where he had a, almost a shot, a free shot at the red, knowing he could only, he couldn't really leave anything, but he could be on the black. Unfortunately, never dropped in. It's a bit lively in here tonight in the Watford Coliseum, and that's at the start of the evening. Williams had one, now Wattenhouse had one. It's such an advantage to get a ball in hand from an opponent's foul. Well, it's absolutely huge, especially as this table looks with the, the balls in very open places. Now, can Wattenhouse knock this red in the middle, get him started here? Well, he's played it down the bottom, it surprised me. There's always a tremendous player in the middle bank, so I thought he'd just cut it across. Gotta wait for that ball to stop rolling on the left, it has. Well, advantage Williams. In addition to his two world Nine. ranking titles this season, Williams has not lost before the third round in any ranking event. He's amassed £380,000 in prize money already in this campaign. 15. Yeah, the cannon's got to be right. He's managed to push right through the bunch. 21. Well, there's a cheer for each colour that's potted for various different reasons. People in the audience dressed in in the colours that are potted and the like. He's, uh, it's not like the World Championship final. A little bit more noise than there would be at the Crucible. It's all part of it. Nothing seems to put Mark Williams off at the moment, where he's been playing. 
There they are. Back to six. Yellow, green, brown, blue, pink, black waistcoats, and one stands at uh, the right moment when their ball is touching. Williams already intent on making this visit the winning visit. 44. 45. Well, despite everything that's going on, one chance, 50 break straight away. Yes. Mark Williams continuing in the vein that he's been playing in. a difficult one and maybe there's still hope for James Watana. He's a long way behind though. He's got to make a 54 break in just over four minutes. I think there's enough time where the balls are but he, you know, making them is going to be very tough either way. The two reds on the side are going to be difficult to dislodge. And of course, he'll need all of that and more. And that cannon was played quite well, 16. but the next red is under, he's under pressure on. Very nice. 17. Always had a very silky touch. I saw it on that last two. shot, beautifully played. Now, that's a very good idea. Very unlucky not to chip a red over the middle there. Good intent, I thought. So he's still got that problem to solve. If he's to win the frame with this counter attack. Nicely done. A little bit short of pace. I don't know whether this is a natural to hit the reds or not, but the pot has got to be given a lot of care and attention. I oh, don't like the way he played it particularly. Well, he, knew it wasn't a, he knew it wasn't a direct cannon into either of the two remaining reds. Yes, so he leaves the table, still 24 behind. I know, but if it wasn't a cannon, what was he going to do with them anyway? Red's never going to break them up. Going all round the table. Just lost his head a bit. <laughs> Seems that way, Clive. <laughs> wow! Corner pocket double. Don't usually see many of those. Well, he can. He's really got a chance here now. He really has, and that will be one of the shots of the tournament. That double. That was stunning. This is a huge turnaround. I can't believe what I'm seeing. What an amazing couple of reds and colours there. Ah! Oh. <laughs> Not really used to the pressure situation yeah, these days, 16. and maybe lost his nerve a bit on that comparatively simple shot. Well, he might get one more try, but he, unfortunately, he's in trouble now. He went a strong favourite there. going to have to be his next shot, I think, for James Watana, or there's no chance. Yellow tight ends the black cushion. Only 25 seconds to go. Williams coolly running the clock down before he pops the yellow. Eight, 
James Wagner shows that he hasn't lost all his old skill, but it's Mark Williams who proceeds.